Hello everyone. Uh, as promised, I am back today with a second poem helping to commemorate the start of the American Revolution. Uh, on Friday, I read um, Henry Wadsworth Longfellow's Paul Revere's Ride, and today uh, we're going to commemorate the events that followed immediately after Paul Revere's Ride on April 19th of 1775. That would be the Battles of Concord and Lexington. And so um, specifically, this is Concord Hymn by Ralph Waldo Emerson. Uh, and this was actually set to music and was sung at the completion of a monument um, that was dedicated on April 19th of 1836. So we're one day off, you know, it's April 20th, but that's fine. Um, and that monument, I believe, is still there in Concord, Massachusetts, and you could go visit it if you cared to. Um, so, once again, Ralph Waldo Emerson and Concord Hymn. Um, this poem has some special significance to me because I recited it in a poetry contest in elementary school. Um, so it's one that uh, I've had bits and pieces of it stuck in my brain ever since. <clears throat> By the rude bridge that arched the flood, their flag to April's breeze unfurled, here once the embattled farmer stood and fired the shot heard round the world. The foe long since in silence slept, alike the conqueror silent sleeps, and time the ruined bridge has swept down the dark stream which seaward creeps. On this green bank, by this soft stream, we set today a votive stone, that memory may their deed redeem when, like our sires, our sons are gone. Spirit that made those heroes dare to die and leave their children free, bid time and nature gently spare the shaft we raise to them and thee. So you might have heard in there the phrase, the shot heard around the world. And yes, that is where that phrase originated. So you might think of it as being associated with sports. Uh, and we've certainly used it a lot that way in the last half century or so. But it originally came from this particular poem, Concord Hymn. Uh, I also, I think it's, it's really interesting that you hear um, in that last verse, direct address to a spirit. And I think it's a fairly safe assumption that um, that is a, a, almost a prayer. It is Concord hymn, right? So uh, that makes that last verse something of a prayer to God that this monument uh, and the memories that it recalls would endure. And certainly, again, you can go and see that monument in Concord, Massachusetts today. So that was uh, Ralph Waldo Emerson's Concord hymn, on just about off by a day, the 245th anniversary of the battles of Concord and Lexington. <clears throat>